we have some amazing frosty friends joining us in the craft corner today. And what's really neat is this is what you would call an upcycling project. We love to reuse and find new purposes for things. And Bernice Spitzer really knows how to do it well. She's with Dogwood Crafters over in Dillsboro, and you have found a way to bring new life to some really fun uh, snowmen. What are you making these out of? These are made out of just old chenille bedspreads that you can find really? at the thrift shops or yard sales or even your closet sometimes. So all you need is chenille and a long sleeve sweater and you're all set to go. I have some of both. So how okay. do we get from that to uh, right. this? <laughs> Surprisingly, your snowman's made out of a rectangle as opposed to a circle. Okay. But you're going to cut your piece out, mm -hmm. sew the short side, do a running stitch here with heavy thread and gather it up oh. and knot it off. Oh, okay. Then you're going to turn it right side out. This, mm -hmm. and oh, do so this, this is like the head version. This is the head the mm -hmm. same way. You turn them right side out, run another gathering stitch along the other raw edge. Oh, okay. You're going to stuff it. What do you like to stuff yours with? Just a uh, polyfill? Poly mm -hmm. Okay. And good. then just pull it real tight and tie it off. But you okay. do need some heavy twine to do that. Okay. And I'm that's what you're going to end up with after you stuff it. You're going to have all these body parts. This and you also have a, you can trace your arms. Okay. And you're going to embroider your face Look with a, in uh, pearl cotton. Beautiful. And just keep in mind, kind of put the face in the middle because time you put the hat and the scarf. Right. You know, if you put it down too low. Then you're gonna hot glue all this. That's how we connect them. I puppy love together. It. Sweet. Okay. So that's to that life. point. Then you're gonna take a long sleeve sweater mm -hmm. and take one of the arms. Okay. And cut up about 12 inches, and that's gonna be your hat. Oh. And then you cut the rib of the sweater off and keep it in one continuous piece, and that's gonna be your scarf that goes around the neck. So that's what's become of. This was the sleeve right. of a sweater, and this was the ribbon right. around and it. When you've, you've got it all together, you can kind of get the hat on here and tweak really it to it your work. plan. And then, and then look at what it turns it out like. Look at our You're superstar on the stool there. Isn't he adorable? And you can do various sizes. Oh, how cute. So. Look at him. There are, you can have a whole room full of these. Mm -hmm. And you know what's neat? These last all winter long. You can have them out till the first right. thaw really hits in the springtime. I love this little bitty one. What and a great idea for the you kiddos. You can accessorize them any way you want. These are floral picks okay. and uh, bells. And what and I love is, yeah, these yeah. jingle. Isn't he cute? I love him. Okay, I know you want to make some too because they're just squishy and fun. Go to our website, WLOS.com, and click on the Craft Corner link, and we'll get you all set with the instructions for these chenille snowmen. And uh, so go ahead and start looking in the closets and checking the thrift stores because you're going to want to make a bunch of these. Thank you so much, Bernice, for sharing this really great idea Thank for you upcycling. For having us. You know, a lot of fun.